start by stating that I believe that IT security is a blind spot. Um, we have software developers on the one hand who know next to nothing about IT security. On the other hand, we have IT security pros who know next to nothing about software development. I know the exception proves the rule, but let it stand. I only have five minutes. Um, both know next to nothing about identity management, and that can really be a problem. The results can effectively be traumatic if the worlds collide here. Um, I will try very quickly to explain why I think that IT security in the traditional sense is not the right way to address security issues in the cloud. Um, there are conflicting aims. The aim of IT security, and I didn't make this up, I actually copied it out of the German Wikipedia, um, is protection. Protection from technical system failure, protection from sabotage and or spying, from fraud and theft, from system abuse, etc., etc. It's all about protecting something. Um, this is a very medieval concept. It's like building a wall around your city, protected from the enemy. Um, city walls went out of fashion a couple of hundred years ago, um, and they will go out of fashion in the cyberspace as well. They simply do not work. They do not scale. They do not offer the kind of protection you want. Whereas identity and access management has a completely different agenda. The aims of identity and access management are things like keeping user content, uh, user data consistent and up to date. It's about facilitating implementation of new services and methods like single sign-on or others. It's about simplifying data management about reducing admin costs, about better control of resources. It's about better support of international projects in cloud computing. And yes, identity management is also about security. But you see, the big difference is it's not about protecting something. It's about control, it's about monitoring, it's about knowing what's going on in your network. And as the network goes cloud, this becomes even more crucial. Security in the cloud requires identity-based security and effective role management. That is the thesis, the takeaway from this speech. IAM is the basis for cloud secure cloud computing. Identity and access management addresses all aspects of cloud security. It addresses things like data leakage prevention, but also things like accusation of access rights, protection from insider attacks, abuse of privileged accounts, the evil admin in all of us. Um, the sum up that I would like to do here is investing in cloud computing should not lead to reduced investment in IAM, which unfortunately is the case, of course, right now, because uh, due to budget constraints, um, the, the IT you know, people have to, to choose. And since cloud computing is very sexy and everyone wants to invest in it, this could actually lead to less spending on identity and access management. I believe this would be a big mistake. Um, the two of them have to go hand in hand, and this is something we'll probably have to convince people who signed the check to do. Uh, not an easy thing. Um, I will only very quickly, since due to the constraints of the uh, format, uh, just like to throw the, the word cloud governance at you. Uh, I can't say very much about cloud governance because it's very, very early days. Uh, cloud governance as a, a discipline, if you want, in, within the IT of the cloud computing is still in very early days. Um, we still have to solve and address issues such as segregation of duties in the cloud. We do not have uh, sufficient standards for to evaluate risks within the cloud. Standardization is going to be the best, the next big thing uh, in cloud security. We need methods to audit not only within private clouds or enterprise clouds, uh, but also over system boundaries, cloud boundaries, because companies will increasingly be shopping around for cloud services from various service providers. How do we ensure compliance and audit, uh, auditing um, in, in such a complex and, and heterogeneous uh, environment? We have to identify users, we have to manage their rights, we have to control transactions over multiple cloud infrastructures, various providers, various services. There are, I didn't translate everything correctly, compliance conflicts are inherent in cloud, security, cloud computing. Uh, just take the instance of the data security uh, issue. Um, European data protection regulations forbid the trans, uh, 
of transmitting personal data to so-called third countries. The most prominent third country in the world is the United States of America, which is, from the from European perspective, is kind of a third world com uh, country as far as data protection goes. Um, <laughs> You are not allowed to do this, but what happens? Where is it? Where are your data in the cloud? <coughs> That's probably the most hard question to answer. It's kind of like the philosophical question, you know, if you close the refrigerator door, does the light go out? Uh, where in the cloud are your data? And can you actually guarantee that nothing sneaked across the Atlantic through to the magic <coughs> of the No, you can't. Which legal system applies, and who will do the dirty work? Uh, this is a quick sum up. Actually, if you read it, I don't have to do that. Um, enterprises should think less about cloud computing and more about cloud IT. Well, things like security, identity management, TRC. Cloud's a whole new game. Everyone will be a couple player sooner or later. Thank you. And uh, quick plug for the Cloud 09, our own event hosted in December in Munich. I enjoyed seeing lots of you there. Thank you.